Recently, I saw a comment asking me what were custom objects. So I decided to make a quick video just to, I don't know, try to help, especially new creators. At the very end of these tabs, you have the C tab. The C stands for custom, custom objects. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff here, but just ignore all of it. At the end, you see you have these two buttons, the plus and the minus button. So what are custom objects? Basically, custom objects are what the name says. Maybe you have a design you like, uh, or a, just a group of objects, maybe art or a logo or a font that you made you want to save that to use later in other levels instead of having to redo the whole thing you can just come here and use that so let's say i'm gonna make a block design and i like this block design i want to use it in different levels and you're like oh i want to use this in the level i'm working on or i want to make a new level with it all you have to do is select all of it go to the c tab and then click the plus icon it's gonna add that object right here as you can see you can put it anywhere you want but isn't this the same as copy and pasting no it isn't because as i said you can go actually to another level let's make a new level here and you can go on the custom objects tab and actually put it there this works for anything maybe you did art maybe you just made a little logo for yourself but there is one thing you have a certain limit of objects you cannot add a custom object if it has more than 100 objects let's say i have this grid here it's nine objects Let's say I copy and paste it around, so it's uh, above 100. So right now it's at 144 objects. If I go on the custom object tab and click the plus, it's not going to let me add it. And there's a couple ways you can bypass it. You can download MegaHack V5 if you don't have the money to spend on MegaHack V6 or V7. I definitely recommend V7 because it has so many features that V5 doesn't have. But if you don't have the money or you don't want to spend it, download V5. It has great features as well. I'm using MegaHack V7 right now, so I'm going to click on Custom Object Bypass. So it's going to let me, even if it's like 200, 300, it's going to let you add it as your custom object. You can go and put it anywhere there's also another limitation to these you can only have a hundred custom objects so as you can see i have more than a hundred i already have more than a hundred here because i used the bypass you don't have to bypass and try to add even this that has like three objects it's not gonna let you add because you already have more than a hundred custom objects so there's two things you cannot do which is adding objects that are made out of more than a hundred objects and also having a hundred custom objects so again to bypass that just go to custom object bypass in mega hack b7 or any mega hack you have or any client you have and you're free to use that this is a really helpful tool you can put like certain triggers like i have this trigger here which makes blocks move and it does this cool thing it kind of like bounces around good for music stuff i also have spawn loops here and if you don't know how to make a spawn loop i have a video on that that you should definitely watch and you have a spawn loop right there so yeah you can add many many different things all the way from move triggers to designs and art and honestly anything so if you want to remove a custom object let's say you don't want to have this no let's say you don't want to have this anymore so just click on that and click on the minus button it's going to be removed from your custom object tab and these are used for moving the custom objects so let's say this logo is way too far behind i want to move it up so click on the custom object and click the up arrow it's going to move and as you can see now it's before this one you can click again and it's going to go above again you can click down it's going to go below click again it's going to go below so just for these are just for organizing your custom objects this is for adding and this is for removing them i hope this video was helpful join my discord server leave a like goodbye